What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 7 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you want to support me as a content creator, make sure you scroll down a little bit, smash that like button, and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So guys, in the last episode, we actually ran up, what was it, Route 6 I believe, and headed towards the 4th gym, which was the fighting gym, and we completed it. And in this episode, we're actually going to be moving along to the next route and to the next gym. But here's my Pokemon. Here's my team right now. We got a level 36 Centiscorch, level 37 Dreadnought, level 36 Toxtricity, level 38 Rillaboom, and level 40 Corviknight right here. I actually did some leveling up and catching Pokemon off screen in my stream, actually. Link will be in the description down below if you want to go check out my stream and all that. Go follow and all that good stuff. But we're actually going to be heading up this way to actually meet Sonya at the top of this ruins over here or little place over here. But she is right here. Look at these little like pillars right here. I actually want to grab this real quick. But the pillars are clay dolls. It's pretty cool. But we're going to talk to Sonya, see what's going on up there. She says we're actually just going to make our way up there. I thought we were meeting her up there. But I guess we're doing it ourselves. <gasps> There's the giant copper Raja, the Pokemon, the elephant Pokemon. Destroy it. Destroy it. We're going to find those wishing stars. Raj! <laughs> Jeez, beads like out here destroying stuff, just looking for all the wishing stars. She's an animal, but dude, this Pokemon's enormous. I actually wanted him on my team because I thought he was gonna be ground and steel, but he's just steel. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars and get your chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning on you. So I think, yes, I was just about to say, I think we're going to beat this chick. I think we're going to have to battle and beat it. Luckily, I did heal up my Pokemon beforehand. I didn't just rush out the gym and to actually go here. But she has du Duision. Is that how you say it? Duision? Duision. <laughs> it's a weird name. But we got my boy Set Scorch, level 36, yo. Flame Wheel looks so dope with Scorch. So look at it. He kind of just rolls up into a Set to be thing. <laughs> Deal some mean damage, dude. That is some mean damage. Dude, let's go. I was actually doing some uh, surprise trades last night with my buddy, and he actually got a score bunny, and since he uh, already picked the score bunny in the beginning, he traded it to me, so I have two of the strategies. I need Sobble, dude. I need Sobble. That's so, like that's going to be the Pokemon that screws up me completing my Pokedex and all that stuff. It's going to be that Sobble, because the only way I can get him is through trade or like Wonder Trade, or surprise trades, they call it. Let's go. We can deal some mean damage. That's actually going to do a double heal up. There we go. No double heal up. We're actually just going to finish off. Oh, that was super effective, but... Flame Wheel does too much damage to pass up on it. But there we go. Take out that delusion right there. Who we got next, dude? We get some mean XP, dude. Yeah, I leveled up our team a little bit so we can kind of be ahead of the game right here. Gothita's going to go out. Who are we going to go? We're actually going to send out our Toxtricity. We actually haven't been using them too much. I gave him a Magnet, which boosts his electric moves. And he has Toxic, too. So I actually might Toxic up here. Do I do a Toxic here? Put some poison on it. No, it's only a second stage. Or is that still a first stage? We're chilling, we're chilling. We're gonna get a little discharge. This is our new electric move right here. Let's go! Dude, that looks sick! That looks so nice, actually. Let's go. She's gonna side beam out here. That'll do a lot. Oh, I knew it was super effective. Did we switch out? Mm. I, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Because we're faster. If we can just... If she doesn't use side beam again, I think we should be fine here. But she probably is. Yeah, she's gonna use side beam again. But this shouldn't kill. This shouldn't kill. Of course it kills somehow. Did it crit? Why? Why did it kill? The first one didn't even take me down past half health. Redonkulous, redonkulous. Who's going back out? We're going to go with our uh, Rillaboom. We're going to go with our Rillaboom right here. And I don't know, did you guys... Yeah, you guys saw drum beating in the last episode. His move and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. We're just going to slam up and finish off this Gothita right here. <laughs> Avoid the attack. Now she's going to fake tears. Cry a little bit. Trying to mess us up. Drop our attack, right? Our special defense actually drops. Dang. We're going to try slamming up again here to finish off this Gothita, and then we can switch out of Rillaboom. I love Rillaboom. I love his signature move where he just banks on drums, and then the vines swing around. Just build, build. Start slapping on everybody. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope, but we get some mean XP there. Who's coming out here? A Hatchrum. We're just going to um, we're gonna switch out. We're going to go to our Dreadnought, because he has Bite, and I believe Bite would be super effective, right? To Hatina, second stage. Is this Hatina's second stage or first stage? <laughs> It's Hatchrum. It's the second stage right there, and the third stage is pretty cool. I actually wanted one of these on my team. I would love to get, like, a perfect IV Hateno. We're going to bite right here. This should be super effective and actually do a lot of damage. Maybe take it out. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Pretty close, though. We are crushing Bead right here. She doesn't want this. She doesn't want this sauce right here. But after this, we're going to move to a brand new route right here and move up to the 
fifth gym, dude. We're crushing on this game, guys. Absolutely crushing on this game, which I am loving, dude. This game is phenomenal. You guys should definitely check me out on Twitch when I do play this game. I go live four plus days every single week. Like I said, link is in the description below. We are going to finish up our Pokedex on there. We're going to go do shiny hunting, online battles, all that good stuff right there. But let's go. Ponita. This is going to be glaring Ponita, so we're just going to keep out our Pokemon right here. I'm surprised she doesn't have, like, any big evolutions yet. Our team is basically fully evolved. We're just missing one Pokemon on my team, which I cannot get yet. I will get him later. But it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to do a little bite action. Get out of my face, Ponita. I actually need one of these. I got to get it from uh, one of my friends who have shield. This Galarian Ponita is sick. Is sick. I would have one on my team if I had shield. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> But let's go. That is Bead's fourth and final Pokemon right there. So we complete her and defeat her as a trainer. Now we can actually move on with this main story once again. Jeez, we got some mean catch. 8,400. Crushing it right here. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of the Gala region. And now all these people come over here. The chairman is... He is actually here too and dude this guy is very sketchy dude i swear dude, he's always like he seems like he's up to no good like i just have a feeling that later in the story something's gonna happen with him let's see young bead it pains me to have say this but i am truly disappointed it's true that i am the one who found you back when you were all alone oh my god dude he's so disappointed because we whooping out here we are endorsed by the champion himself leon and we out here whooping Look at Kaparaja, though. <laughs> He's like a square um, elephant. Like, his backside is just literally just flat. <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. But they're, what are they going to do? Take Beat away? What was that? Uh-oh. What is this? What? The whole mural fall right here. What the heck is this? Oh, <gasps> It's a statue of Zamazetta. Right? Is that our one? Zamazetta's the... No, it's Zacian. This one's... Oh, and it's Zamazetta. It's both of them. And look, she's doing a flashback to the prophecies right there. Oh, yeah. She, she picked up on it. <laughs> Dude, those statues are sick right there. Are you kidding me? Look at that. We just talked to Sonya about the prophecy and all that. But the chairman actually took beat away, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, so Sonya talked about the prophecy and all that and how there are two heroes, which I believe are me and Hop. So, and then we got captured a sword and shield. <laughs> But we actually have to roll out to the next town. So I'm actually going to bring out to my town map right here. I believe our next town is all the way right of Motorstoke, right? Where we got to go? Is there a flag anywhere? Where is our flag at? Find your way through the Glimwood Tangle to reach Belt. Where's the Glimwood Tangle? Is this Glimwood Tangle? Nope. Where is the Glimwood Tangle? Oh, it's all the way up here. So we just have to head straight this way. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to make our way up to the Glimwood Tangle. Well, through the Glimwood Tangle, which will just be right up here, I believe. Which is just dandy, just dandy. Let's keep rolling out here. Dan dan do, do, do. Yeah, we're gonna be making way, our way through the Glimwood Tangle right here, all the way up to the next gym, and probably gonna be completing this gym right here. And is this the place where uh, it's like, oh my god, it, I think it's like the mysterious forest looking place. We're gonna head over here and go inside of it. This is actually where you get Glaring Ponyta in Pokemon Sword, but since we don't have it, yeah, it's this place. Yo, Impidid's showing here. This is crazy. Look at this place. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We got these Pokeballs. Let's head over here. We got any new Pokemans? Everything wild encounter here? Let's check what we got here. What is this? <gasps> new Pokemans. We got Shinotic. This Shinotic really put my Santa Scorch to sleep. Now you gotta get inside this Pokeball right here. Come on. Come on. Is this the first stage? I believe it is. But come on, click it, click it. Let's go. Let's get it. I believe all the Pokemon are just wild encounters here. I don't see anybody that who's just like chilling here like you guys know what i'm saying on the overworld but there's that trainer right there we're just gonna check over here real quick see what we have over here before we actually get moving along we got two full heals oh that's not bad that's not bad i actually might use one on my scent to scorch before we go into battle oh there's a wild encounter what we got here there's a double battle over here a big root i'm actually gonna see what kind of pokemon is chilling right here in this grass over here oh dude he really left he really leave come on show it to me there he is there he is Get over here. Come on. Show me a new guy. Show me a new guy. Who is this? <gasps> it's Pat. It's Passamirin? Is that how you pronounce it? I think this guy's like one of the rarest drops in here besides Sinistee. I think he's a rare drop, which is awesome. Hopefully, I didn't just kill it. 
because I think it's part grass. Don't kill it, don't kill it. I I know this one's a uh, sword exclusive. And the other one is shield exclusive, but are you kidding me? We're asleep. Okay, this Pokemon has been using takedown. If he uses it again, he's gonna kill himself. And then I can't catch him, so we gotta catch him here. There's two. Show me three. Come on, click it, click it, come on. Let's go, dude! Dude, I believe he's a rare find here. So it's awesome that we got him. All right, let's keep rolling out here. We're gonna head down this path right here. We have a double battle chilling over here. So we're just gonna head over here, do this double battle real quick, keep moving along. I guess there's two separate paths, but I gotta check them all out. I gotta check them all out. You guys know the deal. Let's go, nice little double battle. I got my Dreadnought in the second spot and I got my Sense Scorch in the first. I wish I would've put my Toxtricity up in there. Oh, Curlia and a Ninetales. It's good we do have our Dreadnought, or Dreadnought out. We can actually Scald that. And then we can just uh, probably just Flame Wheel. That curly. No, we can bite it. Bite will be super effective, which is nice. We're chilling, we're chilling. Let's go with the bite here. No, bite is doesn't do much. It's not very effective to that, but we'll do that. We'll go flame wheel on the curly and a scald on the nine tails. We'll get some nice. Ooh, incinerate. Oh, it hits us both. But it's not very effective to both, which is nice. Dreadnought's gonna hit a scald up here. Get a nice damage off there. Ooh, doesn't even pass health. Can we get a burn? Nope, no burn. But since Scorch going flame wheel over here, bet she does more damage over here. Dude, I knew he- Oh! One hit at that Curlia. I knew she was gonna be a lightweight right there. But there we go. Get some XP. Dreadnought gets level 38. I want him to learn Crunch. Nice little Crunch action. <laughs> but we're gonna bite down over here on this Ninetales, and then we're just gonna finish it off with this Skull. Let's go, dude. We whooping out here. Dude, Incinerate's a cool move. It's a double hit move. Let's go, let's go. Scalding up. Dude. Dead? Woo! See ya later. See ya later. But yeah, off screen, I was like leveling up my Pokemon and doing all different types of Pokedex things and all that. And we actually, uh, we caught a lot of different Pokemon, which is awesome. We're up to like 100 something in the Pokedex now, which is just awesome. Let's go. Beat that double battle right here. And got a ton of cash right there. Absolute ton of cash. And we keep moving along here. I'm trying to see all these new Pokemon, but none of them pop out in the wild, which is pretty nuts. Let's head up here. I see a TM. I actually might want to head back and go towards the other side. What we got here? What's up here? We got a trainer right there. What's all the way over here? Oh, a TM. Nice. We got Snore. But we should actually battle her. Get some XP. Yo, give me that Snore, baby. Where are we at here? Where's here? Okay. I think we're going to head around the other way and check out what's on the other side. Because I remember seeing that trainer over there. But nothing else. It was kind of just like a path. Well, let's go check out that path. This place is cool, dude. It's nothing there. There's that trainer who actually sees us through this little tree hole right here. <laughs> But it's weird, there's no overall Pokemon, so everything's a wild encounter here. We're versus Cook Derek, he's gonna send out Milsery. I actually do not have one of these. I heard they have like eight different forms or something, which is pretty crazy. Let's go, what level is on? 33, this guy has three Pokemans? This guy has three Pokemon, which is crazy. Let's go, whoop on him. Take it out, one hit. Dude, my boy, dude, Seth the Scorch was such a good pick for my team, dude. He's so strong. He hits like a truck. He doesn't even have a good move. Sinistee. We're going to keep current Pokemon right here. Sinistee, I believe, is the rarest find in here. I believe it is. We're just going to Flame Wheel once again. Hopefully one-shot it. Because when it evolves, it's actually really strong Pokemon. You have to get like a teacup in order to put it in there. It evolves into Poltergeist or something. Take it out. Yes. Yes, Sent the Scourge. Whoop it on all these little boys. Whoop it on them all. Anyone level up? Corviknight to 41. Corviknight is our highest level now. Considering we gave him a bunch of EXP candy last time. Because we just want to evolve them at the end. Just have our whole team evolve. But we got Shenotic right here. Will this be super effective? Yeah, the Flame Wheel will take it out. One hit, dude. Or sent to Scorch. Just ran this, dude. Absolutely ran him right here. See ya! <laughs> murked on him. Absolutely murked on him. But there we go. Finish up that battle right there. Everyone's gaining experience. We're pushing level 40 for everybody right here. And I don't even know what the fifth gym actually is. Which is pretty nuts. I wish I knew it. Let's head over here. Where does this lead to? Anything special? Oh, random encounter. We got to check it out. See if we got a new Pokemon. Show me a new Pokemon. No, we have the first stage of this thing, so we're just going to run. This is Morgram. He's actually pretty cool, though. Boy, I just hit a wild encounter and got a Sinisty. I thought these things were rare in here. I literally was just walking and hit a, hit a random encounter. What are we going to use? We're going to use Bug Bite because we don't want to kill this thing. Jeez, dude. I was literally just sitting there and hit this random encounter. His weak armor. What's that do? What kind of ability is that? Okay, drops his defense, but raises his speed. Eh, that's all right. So we can't hit it again. We're actually going to kill it. But jeez, I can't believe we got one of these. I don't know if this is the rare one, or is there like another rare form? 
Which is, I, I hope this is the rare one. We just got lucky. We're gonna catch this thing with a Pokeball right here. And of course it pops out. <laughs> Get in here, Sinistee! I want you! Wiggling. Yes, come on. Another wiggle. Show me three. Click it, click it. Come on! Dude, let's get it! I actually think the second stage might be the rare Pokemon here. Okay, so we do all that just to get that? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but I actually think the second stage over here is actually the strong Pokemon, or the rare Pokemon in this uh, place right here. But we're just gonna keep moving along here. Going and wrap it around this other side right here. What else we got? Which way did I go last time? I went straight on, right? Yeah. I went straight on this way, and then I went left, but left actually just got me nothing. So we're gonna head this way. Is there a down path? Now that, that seems like it goes to another place. We're gonna see if we can get this TM over here. Is there a way to get this TM? I guess not. I guess we have to wrap around a different way. Can we go this way? Yes, we can go this way, through that way, and wrap around and get that TM, and then up towards the other path. But we gotta versus trainer first. We got Madam Judy. I like how these trainers just sit in the forest, just waiting for people to walk by. Hey, yo! Wanna have Pokemon battle? <laughs> That's what they do. They sit there all day. Hey, yo, you wanna have Pokemon battle? And we just give him the whoopings. It's flame wheel up. This in DD. I believe is no no no. I was gonna say I believe this is just shield exclusive, but no, it's not. I believe just the guy and girl form they change. But it actually might be sword exclusive or shield exclusive. I'm not sure. Uh, let's finish this thing off with a flame wheel because I'm not sure what type she is. I think she might be dark and psychic. But dude, I love Sent the Scorch's ability, White Smoke. How his stats cannot be lowered. It's just, it's just awesome. <laughs> Everyone's trying to use like growl and stuff, drop my attack and all that. It ain't happening. There we go. Take out that NDD. Get it. Level 38 sent to Scorch. Our Toxtricity is going to level up in a second. Another NDD is coming out. We're actually going to switch to our boy Rillaboom right here in order to get some double cash. But we actually have to start using our Toxa, Toxtricity a little bit more because he's a little on the lower side. Or we might just feed him candy and all that good stuff. But NDD is going to pop out here. I think the next gym might be a Psychic or a Fairy. I'm thinking it's Psychic or Fairy considering we're in the sparse right here. But look at this. Pew, pew, pew. See you later. See you later. You're dead. Let's go. There we go. Get some nice XP. Toxicity levels up. I want him to learn like Poison Jab or something good. Because he does have Toxic. Jeez, dude. You gave me some cash, lady. You gave me some mean cash. Let's keep rolling out here to the other side. Look at this. What we find? Oh, is that because the Morgan was just sitting there looking at us up there? Because he was just sitting up there looking at us. But I'm just going to run from it. I ain't worried about him. I ain't worried about you, Morgan. Let's keep grooving along here. I want that TM. How do we get that TM? This actually path that drops us to the top. Luminous Moss. Will this actually drop us towards the TM? Or did I screw up? Nope, it doesn't drop us towards the TM. I just screwed up. We gotta go this way and all the way around. Then we can get the TM and keep moving along with this place. This place is rather big. Here's the TM chilling here. What we got? U-turn. Not a bad bug move. We might want to give that to our Sense of Scorch. Because that hits and then it switches. It's like an automatic switch. But we get a hit out with it, which is awesome. But there we go, grab everything that we need here, and now we can head up towards this way. And this place looks amazing coming from this way. Boy, look at that, dude. That looks unreal. Dude, but we make it to the town. It's Bal and Leah. Are you kidding me? This looks unreal. And like I said, dude, it is the fairy gym. Bro, I'm just stunned right here. This is gorgeous. Oh my lord. This game just outdoing itself every single time. Are you kidding me? We're gonna head in here, heal up our Pokemon real quick, and then see what we have to do after that. But are you kidding me, guys? This place is just astonishing. It literally stunned me when I saw it. The detail and all that, the way it looks, is unreal. It's absolutely unreal. I gotta see this again. Are you kidding me? Oh my lord. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. Unreal. It's like Smurf Village on steroids over here. What we got? Oh, what just made a sound? What's over here? Got Chin Chow. Oh, a TM. Free TM. Can we just head up inside the gym? Or I'm going to check over here for a second. Or do we have to find the, uh, the what's it called? The trainer. I guess not. A ball mushroom. Okay. It can be sold for a higher price. Oh, my Lord. This place is absolutely phenomenal. I think we can just head up inside this gym and do the gym challenge. Let's do it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. <laughs> Fifth gym, fairy gym. Who's going to be running this? Oh, we got Marnie here. Oh, Challenger Jeans. I love her mo Morba pack. That thing's hilarious. Hmm, you got four gym badges already? I'm going to have to watch you, huh? Urara. <laughs> Look, even Morba pack is wary of you. She's actually very nice. She just has Team Yellow around her, which kind of gives her that like vibe that she's like bad and kind of like a annoying person. But she's going to give us a lead card, which is awesome, dude. But she's actually a really nice person. What's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? 
There aren't too many gym challenges left, so you know, so we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I actually really like her character development. Like, kind of like how she's like, you uh, portray her as someone bad and all that until you actually like get to know her and all that, which is cool. That's a lot of the characters. They actually portrayed a lot of the characters in this game with different like, like attributes and all that. So it makes them very cool. Like Hop is actually very cool. He actually doesn't want to be like a disappointment to his uh, brother Lee and all that, which I kind of like that. I kind of like that. But let's go. We talked to this lady. We changed to our number 25 uniform. Good old jeans rolling into the fifth gym challenge, which is the fairy gym right here. Oh, what is this? There's Opal chilling here. Yeah, I think that's the gym leader. I think it is. Let's see. Hey, Opal. Opal. Ah, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you are really lacking the color pink. <laughs> see, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. So my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts too. Oh, don't worry. It's simple enough. As you need to do... All, oh, all you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Okay, simple enough, but it's kind of funny how, like, she's, like, getting old and all that. She's like, I need a new gym trainer. <laughs> we need a new leader up in here. That's hilarious. Well, let's keep rolling out here. Do I have to versus this gym challenge or this guy? No, that's, like, the normal guy. He just chills in the beginning. Who we got? Oh, what is this? It's all, it's literally auditions. <laughs> We're on stage, but we got to battle trainers. Let's go. Let's get it. I got my toxicity in the front spot. I should have... Let's talk Tristy up now. He doesn't have dark moves. So my sense of scourge, no one's really gonna just run it here. That's the thing. But we got a Spritzy. I do not have one of these. This is a shield exclusive. We got Spritzy over here. We're gonna, uh, we're just gonna discharge it. That's fine. Get it. So I was gonna toxic it, but it doesn't have too much health. So yeah, oh, dude, I thought it was gonna take it out one hit. But nice, we get a paralyze off. Hopefully it can't move. Use Draining Kiss. Dang, dude. Dang. Good, good, good. Good thing it's fairy, but it's probably gonna have some psychic attributes in here, which are probably gonna annoy me, considering what's it called. Oh, we got a question. Do you know about fairy types' weaknesses? Well, oh, I didn't, I didn't even click it. I didn't mean to click it. Okay, so it is poison type. That is cool though. That's cool. It kind of shows you things. But luckily, we do have a poison type. We have acid right here, which is nice. So he has a chance at running this. He has a chance at running this. Oh, look at that XP. We actually just took out that slurp puff with an acid right there. So we're just gonna be whooping up here. Get all that cash, move on to the next trainer here. Let's get it. I see, I can't say what Mrs. Opel will think, but you are at least, I don't even know. Pecued my interest? Oh, pecued my interest. Or piqued your interest, however you pronounce that one. Let's go, let's keep rolling on here. Who we got, who we got? What trainer is this? I'm the second trainer, don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Let's go, what's up? <laughs> let's go, we got Jim Trainer Teresa. Right here. She's gonna send out some rocks. These are all like first stage right here. We're just gonna be murking on these things. Go on, Toxtricity. Let's get it. We're just gonna acid it up. Simple enough. Acid. I wish I had Sledge Bomb or, uh. Oh, wow. That didn't kill it. Sledge Bomb or what's it called? Poison Jab. Two very, very, very strong poison moves. I think I'd rather give him Poison Jab. I think Poison Jab hits a little bit harder. Question. What was the previous trainer's name? Wow, see if we were paying any attention. It's the same one. Oh dear, the... What happened? Are they... They were the same name, weren't they? Or were they spelled differently? Did I mess up? I think I messed up. Because <laughs> it didn't give me like a correct sound or anything. But that's weird. Was it spelled the same? I'm gonna have to check that back when I edit. 35 Heliotile. Maybe he'll evolve when we'll get him in our Pokedex. We're just gonna keep, dude. Our Toxtricity might be able to run this. And it's cool. You guys don't actually get to see the Toxtricity as much. But here we go. We got the second stage of Spritzy right here. Let's go. Kill it. This will probably bring down to half, in my opinion. Yeah, see about half. Let's go. Draining Kiss, dude. We're just eating up these uh, fairy moves. I'm surprised no one's dropping a Psychic move on us, because that would be super effective. Oh, he's gonna heal up. Hopefully this uh, next hit can take it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, take it out. I love how he just does like a kick. Just kick some acid over there, but that does not take it out. This might kill us. This might kill us. Nope, doesn't kill us. That is fine. That is fine. We're chilling here. Our special defense actually did fall. We're just going to spark here and then take it out here. But the thing is, I don't think we get any time in between to actually heal up our Pokemon in between these trainers, which is not too bad. It's not too bad. Toxtricity got some nice XP right here. He wants to learn Jaw Lock. Ooh, Dreadnought wants to learn Jaw Lock. What's that do? It's a dark move. A move prevents the user and the target from switching out until either of them faints. 
The effect goes away. Okay, dude, that's sick. We're actually gonna get rid of Bite here. This is an 80%. This is an 80 move, dude. This is a sick move. This is like crunch kind of. It's kind of like his crunch right here. Jawline. Jeez, dude, he's probably gonna be murking here. He's gonna be murking. And the dark could whoop on the fairy, so we can probably pull that out later. Jeez, dude, that is dope. That is dope. I'm I'm confused. Does he learn crunch or does he just learn that? I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't learn crunch now, but we can probably find a TM or a uh, T TR of crunch and actually give it to him. Cause that'd be nice. But gym leader Theodora. More gram she's popping out here. I'm thinking we can No, this thing's dark and fairy. So will poison still be super effective? We can actually see. It is. We're going to see if we can one-hit this thing. I think we can one-hit it and level... Nope, he faked this out. That actually goes first. But it's not going to kill. It does not kill, which is fine. Question. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? Curry or omelets? Obviously, it's curry. I actually prefer your omelets. What do you mean? <laughs> Everyone likes curry here. And it drops our special defense. Can we go first? Nope, we are dead. She's actually going to flatter us. Does this deal damage? Or does this just make us fall in love? What's that do? Our special attack raises, but it confused us. So we got this one chance of actually hitting this thing over dead. No! <laughs> Toxicity goes down because he hurts himself in confusion right here. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Who's going to go in? Who are we going to throw in? Sent the scorch. We're going to go Dreadnought here. I want to see his lock jaw. Or jaw lock. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, it's not very effective. Dang it. Looks like we'll skull this. And hopefully get the next fairy type. Yay. Yeah. Yo, some nice damage. Get the burn. Get the burn. Nope. Draining Kiss. That's actually one of the top fairy moves. Kind of like the Giga Drain of fairy moves right there. That and Moon Blast. Absolutely shreds. Absolutely shreds. What are we going to go with here? We're going to go with a Headbutt. Because Headbutt hits pretty hard. The Flatters again. Raise our... What was it? Special Defense and Confuse us out? Or what's he raising? Our Special Attack. So it actually would have been nice to use Scald there instead of Headbutt. One. Dang it, dude. He's confusing us. All right, we're just going to go for this again. Weep, weep. Confused. Yes, use headbutt. Beautiful, Dreadnought. Rock that thing. Nice damage. Nice damage. Not bad. He's going he's gonna to drain and kiss again. Dude, Morgram evolves into the, the final stage. is just a unit. It's a giant one of him. He's actually such a good Pokemon. I was going to get him on my team, but I ended up not. We're going to go for this Rock Tomb right here. Come on, drop this Rock on him. Yes, Dreadnought. Yes, Dreadnought. Take him out here. Boop. See you later, Morgram. We might want to switch out here so we don't have to deal with the confusion. Depends what Pokemon is, because we can just uh, jaw lock it. Let's go. Get some XP here. Who's up? Gardevoir. I'm actually going to keep him out here and try to get a jaw lock off. Jeez, dude. Gardevoir. This is definitely what the uh, gym leader is going to have. Come on, jaw lock here. Weep, weep. Yes, Dreadnought. Is this super effective? No, it's not. But jeez, dude, that thing did some... Mean damage, but now they cannot run away in battle. That can actually be good against certain Pokemon and all that. What should you use? Reflect. Okay. Physical move. So we're just going to use our uh, special move right here. And use Scald and probably take it out here. Oh, are you kidding me? It didn't do enough damage. Burn it. Mystical fire. What? That's not going to do anything. But still, that is a crazy move right there. That's such a cool looking move. But there we go. We're just going to use uh, Scald right here. But yeah, she put up a Reflect Barrier, which is such a good thing. So now physical moves do like half damage and all that. But we're just going to use our special moves right here in order to take it out. Not a big deal. Was that her last Pokemon? Dude, the XP is through the roof there. Roll boom to level 40. 1600 XP for my Dreadnought right here. Did we get cash from these people? Yeah, dude, we're racking it in. We're raking it in. But I'm actually not sure if there is a Elite Four in this game. I don't know if we just first the champion or we go to an Elite Four. I'm not too sure. Did we do it? I think we beat them all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, what's here? I'm actually going to heal our Pokemon before we actually go in that room. Because if that's another room, then we are dead. Or is that if that's a uh, champion and we don't heal up, then we are dead. I'm just going to use a Max Revive on our Toxtricity right here. He's going to be starting things off all day here. And I see a ladder right here. Can we climb up? No, we probably cannot climb up that ladder. I was like, can we climb up it? Yes, successfully completed the gym mission. Now we're going to go. Yeah, we're ready for the gym leader. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. Into the stadium, dude. I love the gym challenges. These are my favorite. Like, out of all the old gyms and all that, these things, I think, take the cake. You got trainers. You got all different challenges that you can do. But this is what I think she's going to have. She's going to have a Gardevoir. She's going to have a Galarian. Rapidash. Um, what else she's going to have? Maybe that, uh, the third stage of Morgrim. And I think Spritzy's final stage. 
Uh, that's who I think she's gonna have. That is who I think she is going to have. But let's get it. Version Opal over here. Hello, Opal. Let's do this. <laughs> Look at her. She's all pinked out and all that. What's up, Opal? Oh, dude, she looks sick. She looks sick, actually. <laughs> A wheezing. Wow, dude. Galarian wheezing. <laughs> I didn't get the see these bad boys yet. There we go. We're actually going to have our Dynamax band ready. I actually might drop a Toxic on this bad boy right off the bat. We're actually going to drop a Toxic right here. Get some. It doesn't affect him. Are you serious? And he's going to sledge up on us? What is he, part poison? Jeez. Oh, she's asked this question. Do you know my nickname? Um, The magic user. Psst, too bad. Don't tell me I dropped stats. Are you kidding me? If you get these questions wrong, you drop stats. All right, let's ask it here. This Galarian Weezing has tackle? <laughs> I actually want to save my toxicity, so if we don't kill this or do some nice damage, this glaring wheezing right here. Yeah, we're just going to get moving. This thing has levitate. Actually, a special defense drop, so we're going to hit it again here. Our speed's down. He's going to sledge up here. So I would like to save my toxicity, to be honest, for the uh, harder Pokemon. In order to drop a nice little toxic on him. To do some more damage. Oh, dude, a special defense drop, but we didn't. We're able to take it out. There we go. I think she's going to heal up. Maybe use a potion here. No, she does not. Tackles with the glaring wheezing, dude. He's hilarious. Yeah, little smoke stacks right here. Let's go, Toxtricity. Get a nice shot off there. Let's see. Who is she going to drop next? Which Pokemon? Which Pokemon? She's going to drop off next. Ooh, Toxtricity. Get a nice little level up there. Beautiful. A Mawile. We're actually going to switch up Pokemon here. And who are we going to go with? Uh, maybe it's Sentascorch or Rillaboom Corviknight? No, we're going to go with our, yeah, Sentascorch right here. Play it safe. Go with our Flame Wheel. Try to knock that out and all that. Sentascorch, baby. I love him, dude. I saw him and I was kind of skeptical. I was like, should I get him? Because I didn't know how he was going to look, but dude, I love him. I absolutely love him. I cannot wait to get the last Pokemon on my team because I think he's going to be one of my favorites. Can't tell you guys him yet. But here's your hint. He should have been part water type. Question, what is my favorite color? Pink. It's pink. There we go. What do you mean? It's not right. I guess everything's wrong. I guess everything is wrong. Just to lower our stats and all that. How can his stats get lowered? There we go. Take it out that Maul Wild right there. I thought it was super effective. I was thinking about it. Because I think she's part steel or something. But since Squirt's level's up to 39. What's going on? Fire Spin. Of course, dude. That is actually a solid move to actually put in our repertoire. We're going to get rid of Coil right here. <laughs> Alright, I'm calling it Galarian Ponyta. Who she say? I'm just going to keep out my current Pokemon because I can always... A Toga Kiss! Oh my lord, dude. I love Togekiss. Beast Pokemon. Beast type. Absolute beast type. We're gonna go with, uh... We're gonna go with Fire Spin. Start a Vortex over here. Ancient Power. Of course it has Ancient Power. It's gonna knock me out. Jeez. Jeez, yo. Whooped on me right there. Alright, uh, we're gonna send out our Toxtricity. Try to get a Poison out here. Or a Toxic. That's a lot better than a Poison. Toxics, uh, each time it hits, it hits harder and harder. The Poison will hit harder and harder. Let's go. Get this Toxic out. Ancient Power. Hopefully, I don't think this will take us out. No, it does not. Come on, yes. Get this Toxic out. Beautiful. This is all I want to do. Now we can switch out Pokemon right here and kind of start stalling out. Because this Poison will eventually, like, it could take out potentially up to, like, full health if you give it enough turns. I see it will hit light here, but then it will start working. Let's actually switch out to our, uh, Let's go to our Dreadnought right here. Because we have a uh, Jaw Lock. So, and I want Toxtricity to at least get some XP for the other battles right there. But we could Dynamax this bad boy up. But I think we'll save it for the Guard right here. Ancient Power. Dude, we got to eat that up. We part Ra. How is that not very effective? Like, come on. Look at that. Doing more damage. It's like doubled now, dude. It's so good. What we got the question? How old am I? You are 3,000 years old. 88. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> See, every question is wrong. I figured that one out. It's a joke. Just to lower our stats. We're actually going to drop Rock Team on here. I think this will be super effective, too, because she's part, uh, what's it called? She's part Flying. I think it's Fairy and Flying Togas Togekiss. Nasty Pokemon. I love it so much. Well, let's go. She actually fully heals up here. But watch how much our Toxic's going to do right here. Our Toxic's going to do work. Like, if it doesn't kill here, well, it's not going to kill here, but we'll, she'll be dead next turn. Look how much she's going to do. Jeez, dude. Toxic keeps getting worse and worse. She's probably going to drain and kiss again. Oh, no. We go first. Her, the speed fell. We can actually take it out right here. Oh, we don't, but the poison will. No matter what she does. Unless she heals up. 
Draining Kiss. I don't think it'll be enough. This Tux is gonna hit even harder and take her out here. Okay. Oh, well, that, I think it will take it out. Go ahead, Poison. No! Are you kidding me? All right, we're a little bit faster. We can actually finish off this Toad Kiss here. Get some XP. All of our Pokemon are low, so I don't think I should Dynamax my... What's it called? I don't think I should Dynamax him. My Dreadnought or my Toxicity. There we go. Get some levels. Corviknight wants to learn Swagger. All right, let's see what moves we have. Clock, Steel Wing, Drill Pack. We're going to get rid of Furry Attack for Swagger. Swagger's actually not a bad move right here. One, two, and ta-da! Helioptop Tile. Or Helioptile actually leveled up too. So did Dreadnought, which is nice. He wants to learn Thunderbolt. We're just going to say no because I don't really feel like wasting my time with it. But he might evolve, which is actually nice. Alcremi. We're actually going to switch Pokemon here. We're going to go to Toxtricity here. I think we're going to heal off right off the bat and try to at least get a Toxic out on this thing. To deal some more work on it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay. Let's go. Alcremi. Actually, I think all the Pokemon I called were not in here. <laughs> My morning tea is finally kicking. But this Pokemon's sick. This Pokemon is sick. It's a cake Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to our bag. We're actually gonna heal up. Do we have a Hyper Potion? We probably do not. Oh, we do. We have two Hyper Potions. We're gonna give it to Toxicity right here because I think this Al Kremi would have uh, been faster than us and we wouldn't have been able to get a Toxic out. But that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to heal up, get a Toxic out, and then switch my, like, my Rillaboom or Corviknight. Oh, no. This better not kill. This better not kill. Hopefully she uses some dumb move. Look, it's just the Gigamax form. It turns into a whole cake. <laughs> yeah, dude, this thing's a layered cake. It's a wedding cake. It's a legit wedding cake. That is hilarious. Bam, 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 bam. You lack pink. Here, let us give you some. Dun, dun, dun. What's she gonna use? G-Max Finale. Okay, it's not very effective. There we go. We ate it up. We ate that thing up. Now we can actually... No, we do, do not want to go back to our bag. We want to go to our fight. Are we going to Dynamax him? Let's Dynamax him. No, actually, I don't want to Dynamax him because then we cannot use Toxic. This is actually what... Yeah. Oh, we did outspeed it. But we would have died, which is fine. There we go. Get that poison off there, which is nice. Then maybe... We might Dynamax it. Because we can survive another hit, can we? No, we cannot. I think we should switch out. Let that poison do, do its job right there. We're going to go to our Rillaboom right here. And actually, uh... We'll, uh, Gigamax our Rillaboom right here. Or not Gigamax. Dynamax. I think Gigamax is only for the Pokemon that actually has those forms. Like, Alcremi right there. And, like, Scorch has one. But I don't have that one a lot. I don't think this should do work on me. It does do work on me. It does do absolute work on me. <laughs> that heals up. Oh, wow. She heals up with that. Alright, Poison. Do some work here. And, and this thing's a tank, but oh, it's out of its Gigamax form. Let's go. Drops health right there. It's actually nice. Now, now you are gonna, going to get it. Now you are going to get it. A Dynamax Rillaboom. It's already big to begin with. Now look at this thing. Now look at this bad boy. Unit. Unit. It's drums bigger than you. Wow. Wow. You are done. You were done. It has 201 max HP. This thing's a unit. Get it, Rillaboom. You're done. You're done. You are done. Let's get it. Eat it. You're out of here. The Toxic wasn't even worth it. But the Toxic does do work for like Pokemon that are healing up. That's why I thought it would have been nice to have it on that. Well, let's go. Look at that XP. Toxicity almost actually leveled up there, which would have been nice. But there we go. We finished off this gym. I wonder what move we, or TM we're going to get. I feel like we're going to get Psychic. Or no, it's Draining Kiss we might get. That would be beautiful to get that move. Because that move is so strong. That TM. Jeez, that cash is flowing. Absolutely flowing right now. Look at her. She walks up with her umbrella. Hey, here's your gym badge. <laughs> well, good try. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, don't worry about yourself. Oh, don't worry about worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find a next gym leader elsewhere. Cool. We don't want to be the gym leader. We want to be the gym champion. Well, let's go. Give me my gym badge. Shake the hands. Let's go. I love how they always do the shake the hands thing. Let's go. Fill that up. That's going right there. We complete our fifth gym. Absolutely crushing this game, ladies and gentlemen. I am in love with it. You can now catch Pokemon level 45 
Okay, take this TM with you. Oh, she gives us a TM. Draining kiss, yes! It's weird that she gives us TM and everyone else was giving us the uniforms and TMs in the front. But that's cool. That's cool. I actually like this gym. I actually like the fairy. I like the fairy types and all that. Considering fairy is like kind of new. It's this is it's only its third gen being in here. It's pretty cool. So like we can see all the different new Pokemon. Let's head out into the front here before we actually finish off this episode. Because maybe we have a cutscene right here. Let's see what we got going on here. Opal's out here. Hey, Opal. I knew we were going to have a cutscene. We are going to have a cutscene outside the gym all the time. I've got a few errands to run in Hamrock. Care to join me for the journey? If you are heading to the next gym stadium, you need to get the Hamrock too after all. Yeah, with pleasure. We would love to. They say two companies, two's company after all. Perfect. So there we go. The screen's going to load and it's going to tell us that we have to actually return to Hammerlock. Or does it actually take us to it? She actually takes us to it, which is just awesome. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Okay, so cool. She takes us to Hammerlock and we actually have to head towards the right side in order to get to the next gym. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel as it helps me grow as a content creator tremendously. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.